Welcome to the Data Hall YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to look into how do we generate a lag or lead or the difference of a variable. Uh, so for this, we are going to use this example data set. Let me show you this data. It contains different forms. So we have three different forms. This is a hypothetical data. We have years and we have certain values. So within year, we have certain missing years. So for example, here we do not have 2013 or 15 or some other missing years also. Okay, so how do you generate a lag of a variable? So this is the variable that we want to generate a lag of. So we do generate name of the variable and then uh, L dot, we use the L prefix, L dot prefix uh, with the variable name to take a lag of that variable. Uh, so first thing it is going to give us an error and this is what you might also encounter and the reason is that it is saying that time variable is not set remember when you are working with stata you have to tell it whether the data is uh, time series or panel data for that you either use tx command or ts set command or xt set command we are using tx set command ts set command and the ts set form id and year uh, variable so it is going to tell Stata that this is a panel data, right, with gaps. Now we can generate a lag variable. So uh, for 2011, the lag value would be that of 2010. Similarly, for 2012, uh, the lag would be 2011. And for 14, the lag would be 2013, but we do not have 13, so it gives us a missing value. So whenever the previous year or day is missing, it would give us a missing value. Uh, we can also do lag 2 or lag 3 and so on and so forth. So for 12, 2012, it will be two years previous value, right, which is 8 uh, for 2010. Uh, for 14, uh, the lag would be for of 2012, although 13 is missing, but because it is two years before, so we would get this lag. Now, uh, in some of our previous videos or in some of the tutorials that you find on internet, you would see that this underscore n minus one is also used for lag, and that can be used. But there is uh, two differences uh, with L dot or underscore n minus one notation. The first one is that uh, L is one time before value as the time set by the TS set. Remember uh, in this variable, in this uh, lag dot that we generated over here, we first set the time variable, right? And so whenever we are going to use L dot, it is going to take the time dimension from the TS set command that we had gave it, right? So it is going to take year from here. Uh, but in case of underscore n minus one, it is not going to use this time notation, right? It is just going to take previous observations in the current sorting. Whatever the current sorting of the data is, it is just going to take the previous observation. So let this, let's uh, use this underscore n minus one. So we use by sort form ID and we are going to sort it on year uh, so that we have the current sorting. We have data sorted with form ID and then year, although it is currently sorted, but we also need, we always need to do this just to be careful. Generate the lag and then we take the previous value of the variable. So we use n minus one. So this is current observations minus previous. Uh, that means the current, uh, the lag of the current observation, the, the previous observation, t minus one or we, what we can see. So it is somewhat similar to L1, right? But uh, in case where there is uh, this year missing, uh, this N minus one wouldn't uh, take that into account because it is taking this years into consideration. What it is simply doing, it is returning the previous observation, not the lag year, lag date, just the previous observation, right? <clears throat> so this is the previous observation, okay. Uh, and what if the sorting of the variable was uh, not in correct form? So what if, uh, uh, in this case, the sorting is not based co correct, right? So we do not have form ID and year sorted correctly. If we are going to use then underscore n minus one, it is going to give us a lot of errors because now it didn't 
took the and didn't sorted the year so we always have to this do sorting of the um from an year before using underscore n minus one what if we were to use um, l dot uh, uh, prefix if the data is not sorted it would just give us an error that the data is not sorted and we would first have to sort the data and then use l dot uh, notation so that is the advantage of using l dot notation it is going to give us the lag not just the previous observation if you were interested in previous observation and not in the lag with respect to time then you should use underscore n minus one but if you are interested in lag or previous observation with respect to time then you should use l dot we can also take lead or forward uh, and for that we use f dot but first let's drop all these variables so that we clear the cluster clutter <coughs> okay so uh, we generate lead so we just do f dot the name of the variable uh, okay the data is not sorted remember we uh, from id and here so we first have to sort the data otherwise it won't execute the command so uh, the lead for 2010 is 11 right and for uh, 12 it's 13 but because 13 is missing so we get the missing value we can also do two year forward uh, two time period forward we could also have done this using n plus one underscore n plus one rotation as we did over here but again the limitations are there we can also calculate differences of the values that is what we do with d dot free prefix so if i were to generate uh, a difference of uh, first difference of these values then i would do d dot variable so this is 3 minus 8 minus 5 5 minus 3 is uh, 2 we can also do a uh, second difference so we would use d2 but you would be amazed to see that 5 minus 8 isn't 7 and the reason is that there is a common misconception that the second difference means the difference of the, these two observations but rather second difference means the difference of first and second difference right uh, what it means is that uh, uh, if we are to take second difference it would mean that first difference would be the 5 minus 3 this is the first difference of these two observations and 3 minus is 8 this is the first difference of these two observations so these are two first differences and if we take the difference of these first differences then we have a second difference which is 2 minus minus 5 equal to 7. Uh, so that's it for now we have understood the lead lag and the differences in this video thanks for watching the video and do subscribe to this channel